Hello there, and a very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. You're, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show, a show that's been running now several years, and every Tuesday evening at 8, we feature some of the best deals around. We've got six cruises tonight, and uh, prices starting for week's cruise all-inclusive at less than £500. Apologies, I've not seen you for a couple of weeks, because guess what? I was on a cruise. Am I forgiving? Well, Glenn's with me right now. Don't say get the send again upstairs. I've been on a cruise as well. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice good. to see you, Glenn. I've seen you for about six or eight weeks. I know. We're so jet set. The thing we? is, once you get into cruising, you do get a little bit hooked, don't you? You really do. Where did you go? The Med, didn't you? Uh, yes. Yeah, um, I, went, I went to Bruges. Move on from there, was it, mini, was it a mini one, yeah? It was a mini one, yeah, yeah, but, you know. You had a good time, though, didn't you? Oh, I did, yeah, it was good. Um, well, Glenn works for Planet Crew, so you might... Um, lots of you will call tonight, of course, but Glenn will be taking calls tomorrow morning, of I course, I will be, yeah, well. I'll be back in the office at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I know you've had lots of people booking crews this week, and you wanted to say a big hello to... Yeah, uh, I wanted to say hello years. to a lady who booked with me um, on Saturday, a lady called Jeanette. It's her first ever cruise, and... Um, she booked 24 of her friends onto the cruise. Wow. So I said I'd say hello to Jeanette. She was absolutely brilliant booking. And she's not even going on the cruise because she's for, she has a baby in about four weeks' time. Oh. So she's booked it for everybody else and she's staying at home. So hello, Jeanette. I said I'd say, I say if, if some of my friends are watching tonight, don't get any ideas, you know. I'm not going to be booking cruises for you <laughs> lot. <laughs> but I'm, I've just come back from a, a lovely Azamara cruise, actually. Um, I had a most amazing time. I'll tell you more about it. We've got Azamara uh, featuring in a few weeks' time, so I'll tell you more about it then. But just want to say hello to some of the friends that I I made on board and uh, this is a picture from the white knight and we've got uh, there's a whole group of people on the right hand we've got beverly and carol they're massive fans of the show by the way do they, do they like it do they? they love the show they love you glenn do they they do ah. and on the left hand side we've got phil there we've got jason we've got leone and at the very front we've got ann and mike who have been on oh they've been on something like a ridiculous amount of cruises i think about 50. you yeah. look good in white though it's good night was it uh, it was a lovely night, yeah. It was an amazing cruise with Azamara. So thank you uh, to everyone who uh, made that extra special for me. Now, um, if you'd like to see how handsome Glenn is in real life yeah. and how much <laughs> taller than me he is, then you're going to be with me this weekend for the Planet Cruise Show, aren't you? We are, yeah. It's going to be down at the Amex Stadium. It's on Sunday, the 25th of June. I think it starts about 9.30 in the morning. And basically, we're going to be doing talks throughout the day. I know you're doing one. I'm doing I one am. myself. And then I'll actually be on one of the desks selling the cruises. So you can come and see me. We can book some cruises for you but the whole team are going to be down there as well and as I say it's a great opportunity to see the people and just learn a little bit more about cruising a lot of the companies are going to be there as well so yeah. if you're thinking about a cruise for later on the year or next year come and have a chat with them and then they come and book with us honestly it's a really great day and so I'll be there Keith will be there Glenn the whole team yeah okay it's gonna so, be a good one uh, but we have got a great show we've got a very special guest by the way Shane is joining us on the sofa he is from Cunard from Cunard yeah with yes. a brilliant offer so uh, yes can't wait and we've for got something uh, cheeky coming from Princess Lake as well. We certainly have. We have. But anyway, we're going to start off with a company that are brand new to the show, and they've got the most incredible all-inclusive cruise around the Canaries. Get this for price. Are you ready? Oh yeah. It's been a long time since we've seen that for an all-inclusive, hasn't is. it? Yeah. And this is a Spanish cruise company, isn't it? It is. I mean, for those of you that have cruised around the Mediterranean before, you might have been on a ship called the Island Star, which I think used to be based out of Palma and places like that. Now, that Paul, was a popular ship, wasn't it? Was it was a very, yeah. very popular ship. Now, Pullman have taken it over now, and they've, they've called it the Horizon. We've started selling it as a product now. And I would say to them, obviously, there are all, all different classes of ships out there. But this, I think, if, you, if you've never cruised before, you may be fed up with the weather in, in November time and you want to get a bit of sun on your back but you don't want to break the bank. This is going to be a brilliant opportunity to do this out to the Canaries and it's all inclusive for less than 500 quid. Or if quid. you've do, already done your main cruise, you just want a cheeky second one. And you want a bit of sun. And yeah. you, know, you know in the Canaries you're going to get good sun anyway. I'm well up for this and a great single price as well. Anyway, let's just uh, give you a little taster of what life's going to be like on board. So, Pullman, as I said, uh, was at the Island Star, so it's not a brand new ship, but it's very, very popular. International flavour on board, it's a Spanish-owned company that run it, but again, there'll be people from all over Europe travelling on this one. And this one takes in the Canaries, so if you've never been to the Canaries before, some of the best uh, weather in the world, in this part of the world, normally about 360 days of sun. Beautiful weather down there, you've got a chance to see a load of different islands, which we'll talk about very, very quickly. And as I said, a nice opportunity to do this in November. Right. Um Glenn, uh, this does include our flights as well, yeah? Includes your flights as well. The only thing it's not including here is when you arrive at the airport, you'll take a taxi to the ship, okay? That's it doesn't include track, yeah. nothing at all. So it includes your flights, your cruise, all inclusives, and then of course your food and, and entertainment. And you know what I'm like, we're all inclusive. What drinks would we get? Everything on board. Everything so on board, wine, beers, spirits. wine, spirits, everything on board. I, I mean, it works out per night, just over 70 pounds, doesn't it? Exactly, exactly. 
and that's everything. I mean, honestly, I just think for value, it's absolutely fantastic. It really is good, isn't it? It's like brand new, but it's already been selling well, hasn't it? It has. We started selling it a few a few months ago, and again, you know, people are phoning in saying, is that really the price? How much of our flight's going to be? No, 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 that includes everything oh. on there. So, so that's why it's so, so good. The only thing you have to budget for is your little transfer cost and the taxi. Exactly. That's yeah. right. So what we've got on this one, we've got flights based on Gatwick going out to Tenerife. Of course, if, we can, if you want to go regional, you want to go Manchester or Birmingham, if there's flights available, we'll look at them for you. From there, you're going to make your way to the ship and you'll join and that's where you're going to start your seven day cruise. We then go to La Palma. Now La Palma is one of the Canary Islands, a bit different from Las Palmas. People sometimes get a little bit confused but a beautiful uh, area to go around. You Again, nice opportunities with the beaches there. You can go to the uh, National Park. It's a volcanic um, island as many of the Canary Islands are. So a beautiful chance to start in La Palma. We then have a day at sea. Now, you know the weather's going to be good there, so just chill out, relax. We're going to talk about days at sea later on with some of our other packages that we have. We then go across into Morocco. So if you have not been to Agadir before, you can go to Kasbah Hill. Great views from the fort looking down onto the port area. And I would recommend possibly, even if you don't go to the beaches, go to one of the souks, do a bit of haggling and bartering. Yeah. That's what you do in Morocco. And again, if you want any uh, genuine fake goods, you'll always buy those over in Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> From there, we go down to Lanzarote. Now, Lanzarote popular with the windsurfers, great beaches down there. Normally, quite windy down there. So, again, it's great if you like some of the water sports. But if you want to take a camel for a ride on one of the, uh, the mountain, uh, the volcanic areas, you can do. Great small areas. You've got the Timofana National Park and also the Playa Banca Beach. So, nice opportunity if you've not been to Lanzarote. Then into Fuerte, Fuerteventura. Again, another popular destination that we have. You've got Lobos Island, famous for bird, uh, bird life. They've got a great water park there if you start like doing things a little bit more active or just chill out on one of the beaches and again a lot of very very popular with windsurfing and kite surfing that they have down on some of those beaches then on to Gran Canaria I used to work in Gran Canaria you've got played at Ingles and Puerto Rico uh, I think normally you dock over in Puerto Rico, but you've got a good opportunity to also go to Mas Palomas, which is the sand dunes. If you love your camels, another chance to ride a camel here. But the, the landscape, if you've not been to the Canaries before, are very, very different. You've got beautiful beaches and lush areas, and then go up into I mean, the volcanic areas for a stunning part of the world. I mean, to be honest, at this time of year, and we've got you know, dates from, from November through to March, when the weather's so bad in the UK, a lot of people just go and you know, relax on the beaches for some yeah. of the days, get a nice town or stay on the ship. Uh, even if, if, even if people want a weekend away, you know, for a couple of days, you even do it in the UK, you know the weather's not going to be good and you're going to be paying nearly half of that to go away for a few days. So you might as well jump on a plane and go to the Canaries. And again, everything's included. I think it's brilliant. I really do. So let's just remind you uh, of what's included in this price. We haven't seen a price like this for a long time. So it is an all-inclusive cruise. So that's wine, spirits, all your soft drinks as well. And that's all the, uh, the sailings. Um, there is a free upgrade from inside to outside. If you go for the 4th of March 2018 sailing, return flights they are based on London Gatwick. Uh, a transfer is not included, but um, you know all you need to do is get a cab, wouldn't you? Exactly. Across. Yeah, just get a cab to go up there. That's not a problem at all. And uh, a brilliant single special on this. We've got prices on the single starting six one nine. Six one nine, which is really good, isn't it? Really, really good. And it works out at £72 per person per night, which is absolutely superb. Let's show you, you've got some various dates available for this one. So I'll just uh, talk you through. So I mentioned from November all the way through to March. Uh, we have had some sellouts already. The balconies are selling very fast on this one. So we've had a couple of sellouts already, but we have got balconies available in uh, January, February and March as well. Look at those singles. I know we often get even, even look, Sean, if you look at the December price, you know when you've had enough of Christmas shopping, you've probably got everything organised and you fancy a quick week away, why not try it in December? It's a nice time of year to go. It really is. I hate that week before Christmas. Yeah. Why Mad, not? isn't it? Yeah, let's book it. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, it's my dream going away at Christmas time or just before. Anyway, <laughs> we've, um, we've still got many, many great deals to come. Just just sort my collar out there because... You, you've been playing tennis? Do I look like I've been playing tennis? Oh, you've got your tennis I've been on a cruise. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. <laughs> but we have got a brilliant guest for our next cruise. Uh, and it is with Cunard, one of my absolute favourites. And here is Shane. Good evening. Good How evening. Are you? How are well, you? nice to see you. Good, good evening, chat. Good? The rose between two thorns. <laughs> <laughs> you've been on a cruise. You've been on. I've been on a cruise. <laughs> I was on Queen Elizabeth last week. Were you? Do you know? 
Where were you going on there? Southampton to Hamburg. Oh, so lovely. A little, a little jolly trip over, so oh, very nice. good, very good. Well, I've done a few mini cruises with you, and also the Queen Mary on my mum's 70th had an yeah. amazing time. But tonight we're featuring the Queen Victoria, and she's just had a massive refit. She has, she? she has, yes. We've just had a refit for the Queen, yeah. as you say. So um, it's an incredible ship, but a £30 million, £34 million pound refurbishment recently as well. Wow. So just a couple of weeks ago, she joined us back in service after that refit. So uh, a very big, uh, very big refit to be enhance her and bring her up to the, the Cunard standard that we've come to expect even more so so yeah incredible well i tell you i want to i want to see her because we've got some new film we've got some brand brand yes. new footage hot off the press so you can take a look at this so maybe give you a guided tour of what um, what's happened with queen well, victoria I, on a 30 million should. pound refurbishment it's a lot of money isn't it so she's gonna look amazing yeah one of my personal favorite areas so this is the winter garden so this is an area where you can relax on top deck where the natural light just floods through we've also introduced um the yacht club which has had a new refurbishment the mid lounge bar which is now a gin and fizz bar as well which is proving oh, very oh, very popular so God, my two favorite my personal favorite area <laughs> one thing that you'll really notice as well so we've had um we've introduced the britannia club restaurants and some new britannia club state rooms on board as well but one of my personal favorite areas is right at the very back of the ship very aft we've introduced a new new uh, part of pool terrace area that you can see and um, it's a great opportunity for you to be able to sit back relax and i say this area is more akin to a more of a a VIP rooftop terrace, if you like, but it's open to all. Um, a great opportunity for you to be able to enjoy some outdoor dining. We've got some great cabanas for you to relax and, and uh, enjoy some of that sunshine on the Mediterranean you know, cruises. I, I tell you, I've literally just come back from a cruise and then yeah. watching that clip of film, I'm like... But you know, I went, on the, I went on the Queen Mary just in December when it just had its refit as yeah. well, and I used to work on there, mm. and I was... It was, it was a lovely ship anyway, I was but I was... She was always beautiful. Yeah. You know when sometimes they do refits, you think... Was it, you know, what have they spent the money on? I went on the Mary and, and thought all well, the rooms were beautiful the way they've done it. They've modernised yeah. it and they've changed them, and that looks just as good. Yeah, and the great thing about it is you've got the traditional style cruising, but you've got those modern touches, touches as well. Exactly. Feeling yeah. through from Queen Mary, too, and certainly uh, uh, Queen Victoria is no exception. And actually, you've got a wonderful cruise here that's taken a, a, us all the way over to Bermuda, a place I haven't been to, it's on my wish list, and then we're going at the end over to Fort Lauderdale and spending some extra time well, in Well, you know, when I come and join you, Sean, I always like to bring a really great deal, and this deal, I think, is particularly great it, because it gives you an opportunity to really immerse yourself in Queen Victoria. Should have had £34 million spent on her, so why not get to involved in the ship and experience the ship as much as possible? And bear in mind, you are away for two weeks. We've got a price starting at £1,379, and again, just having a, a look at just some of the, the beautiful beautiful new touches and the, the touches the changes that have happened on board have just been phenomenal and um, really transformed the ship so if you've seen if you sailed on board Queen Victoria before you will still um, experience the same feeling and uh, experience on board just to, it'll just surpass your expectations even more so than ever before and we should say you've actually got six days at sea making way over to Bermuda and, and some people often say to me well, what would you do at those days at sea so give us an idea what well, kind there's of so, there's so many options so what will happen is every evening you'll receive a ship newspaper to your state room and it'll give you an idea of everything that's happening on board the ship the very next day. So what you can do is spend the evening before you rest your head uh, picking out everything there is to see and do. There's all kinds of opportunities to be able to go and experience some of our insight talks so you can be able to learn something new on board. They are really good. Absolutely. And the great thing that we pride ourselves at Cunard is the fact that we've got such a sense of space on board. So our guests often tell us they feel free. So the space that we have on board find a little corner, relax, just watch the wake from the new terrace on the on board deck nine. So it's just got a good opportunity and, for you to be sitting and, and just relax. still do all the Fabulous afternoon teas. Absolutely, like yes, they absolutely. Are yeah, the white glove afternoon yeah. tea. And uh, true, true white star service. So you can really experience that, and it is like nothing else. And you can see the library there. The thing is, though, the, the queens are designed for transatlantic. So yes. You know, they're, mm -hmm. they're transatlantic based. So obviously, the Mary's the most famous, but, but all three of them, they do it so often, so they, they're geared up to it and they know what to expect. Yeah, and I think the great thing about this itinerary as well is as you're sailing down to, towards Florida, you're also gaining hotter and hotter weather almost yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to arrive there with no jet lag as well because the clocks will change every day as well so you'll be able to arrive there nice and refreshed uh, and nice and tanned as well so um you're making your way over to bermuda a place i'm fascinated by yeah it's absolutely beautiful i mean it is one of the the, the rich and famous destinations of the caribbean but it's is that why you go there oh i, no, I think no, I, know, I, I think that. sean's probably got a small go. place out there with his money stashed away but when you go over there, it's I've spent beautiful. All on cruises <laughs> <laughs> you know, spent it on razor blades sean i can tell you that <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think when you go over there, it is the rich and famous over there. It's the pastel coloured buildings, beautiful beaches. It's a British island on there, British territory in the north, in the Atlantic there. But 
again, I think if you've never been there, it is a place on your wish list to go and see. Nice, nice chance to have a stop there before then having another couple of days at sea before heading down into Fort Lauderdale. And we, we've got uh, an overnight on board in Fort Lauderdale, haven't we? We have. I have to love Fort Lauderdale. John, when I get to your age, this is where I'm going to retire. So I'm going to head down to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> there's a beautiful place. They actually call it Venice of the Americas, actually. So there's lots of little canals so you can go and experience, go and look at the uh, mansions around there that hopefully I get to pick up one day. And in stunning beaches, really relaxed and have an overnight on board the ship, which is great as well. So your accommodation is covered for you. It's been so cheeky that I'm lost for words. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Uh, and uh, then you disembark and you're transferred to a four-star hotel in Miami, one of my mm -hmm. favourite places, and you get a three-night stay. Miami is just... It's, it's got everything it's in it. Great. South Beach, it's Art Deco. Yeah. So what's nice with this is a lot of people either go to Fort Lauderdale or Miami. This is given a chance yeah. to do both on here. And again, what we've put in there, just to keep you busy, we've got a four-day tour of Grand Miami and also a trip down to the Everglades. So you've got a chance to go that. down to the Everglades. And you were saying it's on the hover boat. It's, it? it's on the airboat ride, yeah. So you get on the airboat, you put your little earmuffs on, your ear protectors, and away you go looking for alligators. So it's incredible. <laughs> it's a great experience. It really is good fun. It is and good. it's something you've got to tick off your bucket list. Uh, and then uh, you've got your own day at leisure and you're transferred to the airport and back to uh, London, of course. I think that's amazing. And uh, let's just recap what's included in that price tag. And Shane, you're right, whenever you come on the sofa, we always know that you've brought us an amazing deal. Absolutely, and this is one yeah. Tonight. Brilliant. It, lots included. Great opportunity to be able to experience such a popular ship, but a ship that's now had a £34 million refurbishment. So really immerse yourself into all of those new features on board. And, and um, do you still have the formal nights? or? Yes, we do. Like so we have the formal nights, but the great thing is we have options. So if right. you decide that you don't want to dress up one evening, you want a more relaxed evening, Evening, then we've got a different venues. And, and that's different something that people are doing quite a lot now with Cunard. Yeah. We get quite a lot of feedback saying they don't always want to wear the yeah, dicky suits every night, so it's quite nice. You to could have even that. wear your fancy polo shirt if you wanted to. Oh, if if you want can you keep the beard more relaxed? Yeah, no, no you... beard, sorry. Oh. Sorry, I draw the line short. You used to look so young. <laughs> <laughs> many, many, many moons ago. I hope you've enjoyed your last time on the sofa on the show, Shane. Anyway, <laughs> let's just show you the, the prices that we've got tonight. Uh, we've got prices starting at an amazing price of £1,377. I mean, over 50 nights, amazing value. And I tell you what, you're not at, it works out under £92 per person per night. But even the balcony prices, and if great there, aren't they? Incredible prices. So I, I would definitely say it's worth that extra yeah, indulgence so. in terms of balconies and if you can even more so our grill suite accommodation is yeah. incredible so if you've got an opportunity uh, and the person who's all stretched to that the grill suites of Queen Victoria have also just had an extra special touch as well Ooh. so they are inc extra incredible and you'll also get to dine in one of our cr grills restaurants if you were lucky enough to uh, enjoy the grill suite well Shane you've been as cheeky as ever but that's not great. it is it that's, That's it. it. Yeah. yeah, we've cut you short. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've got to be too cheap. Your taxi's yeah. waiting. <laughs> <laughs> the engine's running. Get out. Get out. No, seriously, it's been lovely to have you. Thank show. you. And a great deal. pleasure, mate. Thank yeah. you so much. Pleasure. Thank and you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Yes, I hope so. Yes. Just behave yourself next time. Now uh, we've got our next cruise coming up, and uh, it is from Saga. We've not had them on the show for quite a while. Got an amazing offer on board the Saga Pearl Two, and. Uh, We've got a price tonight, again, starting very low at 929. So let's just take you on board and talk you through with our lovely Glenn. So you've been a while since you've had Saga on the show. Yeah, Saga, I mean, I actually went on one of the Saga ships, not, not to cruise, I'm not quite there yet. Um, but we went, I went on a 50 plus, on, 50 Saga, plus yeah. on there, yeah. So I went on one of the Saga ships to have a look at it the other, a little while ago, and I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. They do say the food on Saga is some of the best at sea, to be quite yeah. honest, which I must admit, when oh, we the get ships there, are beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful. They're more traditional. Okay, so obviously, if you want the rock climbing walls and the, uh, the winds, uh, the uh, surfing, you're not going to get that on a Saga Pearl ship. But they are more traditional. They're beautiful small ships. The decor is, is stunning, and I think the level of service on there is very, very high. What you tend to find with Saga is people go back to Saga time and time again. And these are people that know what they want. They're not first time cruisers. So if they're going back time and time again, they, they, the product must be good. Um, and we started selling Saga a couple of years ago. It's still quite popular at the moment. I mean, again, it's more of a niche market and the people that want to book this go back, as I said, time and well, time again. And it's, no, it's no children. No children no, on there. So no. 50 plus is the age group. So the, the entertainment, the music is all geared to that age group as well. So it works very, very well. But as I said, the, the general decor you can see there is a very traditional style of ship. And it's beautiful. It, it is. And, and, it, and you're saying smaller ships, yes? Yeah, which is a bit like the Azamara one you've just been on as well. You, you get to know people. Some of these ships hold 
6,000 people you see him once and never see him again. This one, you get to know people on board. But again, very, very so good. I, I, love, I love the big ships, but I'm also equally a fan of the small ships. I think it's nice to change it. But as I said, when you go on board, you'll also see a lot of their members, their placards on there with the people that have travelled with them many, many times. And as I said, if they're travelling that amount of time, it must be good. Um, and you've also got an option of having insurance with this one as well. Insurance as well, yeah. Because of Saga as well. So they have options. If you want to book the insurance through them, generally, I'm not saying everybody, but most people get accepted on the insurance, so that's quite a good thing. Yeah. And they also do something which is a bit different as well, which is the free door-to-door -door chauffeur service. Now, this is brilliant. I couldn't believe so that this was included. I think if you're 75 miles from where you're flying from, it's a private car. If it's wow. 75 to 250, it's a shared transfer on there for you. But, but that is pick, included in the price? That's included in the price on there for you. So again, I mean, I think Saga, they do seem to look after every aspect of the whole experience. It's not just the cruise market. Itself. People want to be looked after, yeah. and that's what they are. And as I said, the prices are probably slightly higher than you get with some other companies. But again, that's people, people want that level yeah. of service. You get a They're prepared service. to pay it. And I know they really, really look after you on board. They do, yeah. Um, you know, I was thinking about doing another cruise with my mum because she's 76 now. And, um, you know, I think she'd prefer a smaller ship. She would. I think, I think sometimes as well, but, you know, everyone's got their own taste. But I think sometimes people do like that little bit more intimacy. They get known by the waiters. You're not just another person coming yeah. through, you know. So that's what they like. Um, anyway, I've just come back from some of these uh, destinations. We're flying over to Seville, first of all, aren't we? We are. Yeah, we're flying over to there, and we've got a one-night stay there. In, we're into Cadiz, and you're into Seville there, which is a beautiful part of the world. Now, Cadiz is, well, is, is the southwest of Spain, famous for its watchtowers, beautiful 18th-century cathedral. Nice to walk around the old town there as well, great promenade area, and just a nice start before you actually embark the ship and start your cruise itself. Uh, and I was literally there last week, and I thought it was a beautiful place. It's nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice time of year. And again, at that time of year, you're going, 30th of November, weather's still going to be quite nice. It's not going to be too hot, but it's not going to be busy over there as well, which is quite It'll nice. It'll be a lot better than here. Of so. course. <laughs> then we go into Porto Mayo, up into Faro, Portugal area. Um, of course, up by the Praia de Rocha, which are the beaches. Great part of the world. And again, we've got the small fishing village. You can just wander around the town. A lot of the, the ports of call on these saga cruises are not big destinations where you have to rush off the ship to get to Rome and Florence. They're quite nice places you can just wander off and take your time at your own leisure. So that's quite pleasant. Then we go into Lisbon, one of the best sailings in Europe, I personally think. Get up nice and early in the morning, go under the April the 25th bridge. That you've is got the, really good when you are. You've got the, there it is. You've got the Christ the Redeemer statue. Uh, as you make your way in. And all the trams. All so the I was trams. literally there last week as well. I thought it was amazing. It was the first time I'd and, been. And into the it. main square, the Rosario Square is beautiful. And again, the coastline, the, the sailing and sail out is a definite must there. And as I said, if you've not been there before, you must have sat there with, a, I'm sure you had a glass of wine as you sailed out of this. Do you know, I, I did, but we were there overnight as well, so I, there was some lovely little bars uh, on the beach, just, just serving beer. It was great, great. Great area. So I did have a few pints of beer. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a day at sea, just to chill out and relax. Then we go into La Caruna. Now, La Caruna is nice itself, but I would probably recommend a trip over to Santiago de Compostela, which is the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, great. The, the cathedral there is, is magnificent to go and see, but if not, you can just wander around La Caruna as well. It's quite nice. Then we go to Av Aviles, which I must admit I've not been to myself, and this is the Oviedo in Gihon area um, and again a nice opportunity with the town area to wander around meander at your own leisure as I said all of these ports are called if you don't want to do a tour you can just go off your own leisure and just go and enjoy yourself which is quite nice another day at sea and then we head back into Southampton which is nice and um just, um, just quickly, would you get the transfer back as well? Or is that just on the way there, presumably, Glenn? No, it's door-to-door -door service on there really? for you. Yeah, so again, I think obviously wow. if you're Southampton, but you're based a certain distance away, I think there's extra, you pay yeah. for extra mileage and stuff like that anyway. But again, we can discuss that with uh, Saga. And that, as again, they'll look after you. Um, I think that's amazing at 99. Really and again, did. if you look at the ship, the picture of the ship there, you can see it's more traditional. Yeah. I worked on a ship called Marco Polo, and it was quite similar to that one. You know, they're older ships, but they're just classic. And, and beautifully said, they're maintained. Very, they, of course they are, and they're just different from these beasts that go around the yeah. Caribbean. Uh, and just to remind you of what's included, it's very good this one, as you can say, because you, you are getting that. Everything's made easy with Saga, so it's that free door to door show service or parking. Uh, there are terms and conditions, just ask the team for details. It is an all inclusive package, so you will get your drinks with uh, lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner on meals, that one, yep. And uh, free Wi Fi and gratuities on board as well. Which is nice, so that's, that's covered. Really, again, you don't have to worry about anything. 
and uh, your outbound flight from London Gatwick as well. So all of that. And remember that insurance as well. Yes. That's quite a big thing as well. So again, SARS will look after insurance on that one. I as think well. you've got real peace of mind on every yeah. aspect of that one. Yeah, exactly. Very good. And nice to have Saga back on the show. But it happens. Um, but we're actually going to move on to a river cruise next. Now, I've still yet to experience a river cruise, but if, every time we have one on the show... Every time we do a river cruise, you always I... say to me, am I going to book one? I'd re- I, was, I, I don't get a lot of holiday glamours, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but... You're like the Judith Chalmers of the uh, <laughs> shopping channels you are. Seriously, I'd never been on a cruise till I started presenting this show, and that was about eight years ago. And you do get absolutely hooked. You, you do. really do. And, this, and, and these river cruises now are really <laughs> taking effect. I mean... Every, every single river cruise company has their own little niche that they like. Um, obviously, there are only so many rivers that these river cruises can go down. Now, this one we're featuring is on the Danube. The Danube is one of the most popular and beautiful. Yeah. Some of the places we're going to. But what you've got to remember with the river cruise, they only hold maybe 100, 150 people, so they're small vessels. They're not, they're not geared up so much for entertainment in the evening. It's more chance to relax. But you've got to remember, you've got moving scenery you all the have. time. You looked at the cruise we just did with Cunard, great cruise, but six days at sea, you're going to see ocean. This, literally, as you just sail through the river on the Danube, you're constantly looking at stuff and they tend to bring a lot of local entertainment on group so you really immerse yourself in the place that you're going to uh, oh and Ty, i've got to mention you do get a free kindle with oh every that's sold as well that's it sales have gone through the roof <laughs> yeah it's nice to get a few extra yeah, yeah well you can read your book while you're sitting watching this exactly. there you go uh, anyway we're going to show you a clip of film featuring a sister ship aren't we yeah so, most of the ships are very very similar yeah. to be quite honest but um but again with with riviera i think i think they're advertising now on television anyway but their service is very very good you can see it's a lot more sedate more relaxed but look at the look at the quality of the actual uh river cruise vessels themselves i mean i never used to realize that river cruises were this opulent they are they're beautiful i've been on a couple myself and they are beautiful but this is what i'm saying to you as you're driving as, as you're sailing along the scenery is constantly changing and they are a lot more relaxed now they're the river view, uh, sorry, they're the um, French balcony cabin, yeah. so you can see they're, they're, they're beautiful to actually sit on your bed and watch the views go past. Um, and again, every time you stop, you dock right in the centre of town, so it's very easy to take you off and then you're straight in the heart of the town itself. Uh, and if you can true. upgrade the, the French balcony, um, we have got some really good prices, it is worth doing, and again, we can talk you through. Exactly. Um, but, but I like are, that, let the world come to you, and that's what it's all about. Well, this is, it? this is what I'm saying to you. Look at the, look at the views on there, they're beautiful. And as I say, yeah, see, they don't need a Kindle, they've got a book. So they're old school on there for you. But when you've got your Kindle, you can put all of them on your Kindle that you're going to get. But it's a nice opportunity with only 100, 120, 125 people on board. You get to meet people, the staff know who you are. And again, we get a lot of repeat passengers with Riviera, so they do do very, very well. But they are different. And again, you, you know, you've been on many cruise ships. And you were just saying you normally go on the big cruise ships, and now you've gone on Azamar, it's a smaller one. This is, again, is another sort of um, facet of the cruising industry. And it is becoming very, very popular. And as I said, it's, uh, it's a good one, this one. And, and we should say you've seen quite a few drinks. So if you would like to upgrade to drinks with meals package, you can do that from just £99 per person. That's really good, isn't it? Really good. So if you look at that leading price, I think we've got base 28th of October on there, 999 for Riverview. Put another £99 on that. You've got all your drinks with your meals as well. And it's just it's definitely worth doing if you're going to do that. But the and food is very, very good. I was going to say, I've heard the food's really good. Fine dining on there. And again... It's not mass produced because oh, there's 125 people on there, but it's not mass produced like you're on a cruise ship, so it's very, very good. Looks, um, looks very appetising there. And actually, you could see there was a real atmosphere on board. For it is, that. yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You get to know people on board, yeah. and you get your little clicks, you meet friends on there, and uh, they all sit around and put the world to right every night. I've got to say, the, um, the places we're stopping at here as well, they. Very pretty, actually. They are. Yeah. Anyway, let's just talk through then. So we fly from London, don't we? Yeah, going to fly from London. You're going to go into Budapest, into Hungary. Now, again, with this one, you don't stop in Budapest at the start of the cruise. You're going to have an overnight at the end. So literally, you're going to embark the Thomas Hardy and you're going to start your meandering cruise along the Danube. So great chance here to go into uh, Esteron, which is in Hungary. And to be quite honest, I've not been to many of these destinations. You can research them. But if you just look at the images as we go through, it's beautiful. You've got the Renaissance Basilica. It's Hungary largest church the stunning castle area as well and again you can go off they have tours with this one as well so you can experience this and this is the views just constantly changing as you make your way you, down you the, must be uh, the so relaxed chilled it's yeah. very relaxed very relaxed then we go into Bratislava which is uh, the uh, capital of uh, Slovakia and again uh, the Baroque old town the 17th century fortress and the Bratislava castle which is stunning it's like something out of a, a fairy tale or something you see in, in books um, the old square the main 
main square is beautiful, and you can just meander around there during the day, which is nice. And again, you haven't got far to come back to the ship. No, you haven't, have you? It's all right there. <laughs> then we go into uh, Dernstein and Melk, and again, the Baroque ice blue tower here in Dernstein. This is actually where Richard the Lionheart was imprisoned here. Um, and again, from there, we go into Melk. Melk is the monastery, so you'll go up into the monastery area there, and it's stunning. Look at that. Look at that, Abby. Beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Salzburg, again, in down into uh, Salzburg, the old town there, the tiny streets. Chance to do a bit of window shopping. And again, with this one, you've got the Alpine backdrop. Look at that, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It really is. Uh, just uh, and the, a, you've got a to remember this is, not, with this is not a destination you've arrived on the coach. You're sailing into this. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit like a fjords cruise, you know, when you're sailing yeah, through yeah. the fjords. You'll get this on here in Salzburg. One of the big highlights on here is Vienna. You've got the elegance, the fine music, you've got the sumptuous Baroque palaces, grand boulevards, and the noble architecture, uh, which you have there, which is St. Charles's Church and many other destinations. Do you know, I've never been to Vienna. Okay. Amazing place. And then in the evening, they're actually gonna bring a um, uh, people on board for live music experience on board the vessel. And again, you can just, just sit back and relax and take in this beautiful part of the world. Then we go down into Budapest, split between Buda and Pest. It's called the City of the Spas, and you're gonna have an overnight here as well. So you've got a chance to experience the, the city during the day and at night time as well. And whether you stay on board and have a meal there, or you might even go off and do your own thing, but... But the great a, thing is you can just nip on and off, can't you? Of course you, know? you can, of course you can. And you've got, got long queues to get back on board the, the vessel or anything. So you look at where you're seeing on there, and I, I would have thought many of our people that are watching this haven't visited these places before. So this is tying it all in, and look what the price is. Well, we've got Riverview starting at 999. Let's just remind you what's included on this one as well. So a uh, free Kindle with every booking cost tonight as well. We mentioned, um, I think if you do like a drink with your meals, you can actually upgrade to drinks with meals from just 99 pounds per person. That's for the whole week. That's for the week. Very good. Uh, return flights based on London Gatwick. And uh, as we mentioned, ships differ slightly depending on departure date, but the ships are all very similar. Very right similar, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you haven't been on before, you won't know any difference to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and price-wise, now, the Riverview Suites starts at just 999 but some of the upgrades to Fels Park, in fact, all the upgrades are actually really good. That one for October the 18th, it's only £100 more. Yeah, and, I, you know, if you speak to the guys in the office, we everyone's got a budget, sure, we talk about every week people got a budget, but again, with these river cruises, the, the river cruise, the river views are quite small, the, the views out there. Really, you want to try and upgrade to a French balcony, because that's where you can just sit back on your bed and just watch the views. If not, you're not going to see as much from the river view, so up to you what you can afford, but again, um, if you can do it, spend the extra £100 or a couple of extra £100 and, and get the French balcony. And Glenn, just look at this, some of the dates, the single price is is it's the same. The same, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, look at the August price there. The August price there for the single is the same price, same for July as well, right in the middle of the summer. Yeah. Really, really good. And we always get people phoning in, and you know, we can only do what the cruise companies give us. So they always say, we don't want to pay double for singles. This one you haven't got yeah. to do Yeah, so, so really check out those dates. I mean, the July and the August ones, really good there for single. Time of year and the September. Yeah. So uh, definitely give us a call because obviously not many single no. cabins available. No, there aren't, no. But we have still got. Ooh, some biggies, actually. Some really biggies to come. And our next one is on board a ship there. Well, I've cruised, I think, four times now. Uh, the Celebrity Reflection, a beautiful ship. And uh, we're going to tell you more about it in a second. But before your cruise, we actually fly you over to Rome. And we've got a couple of nights there in a four-star hotel, haven't we? We have. So, again, I mean, this is a package that we're putting together. And we always say it to people. People might have done Rome before, so we don't want to do that. We just fly straight in. But within the package that we've got here, we've included two nights in Rome. So you can extend it to three days. You can extend it, you know, change it to one. But I would give yourself a couple of days in Rome. You've got the Basilica, Colosseum, Trevi Fountain, Panthenon. My personal favourite, the Colosseum. Um, great restaurants if you like your pizza your past to the general way of life in Rome and you've not seen it before because when you go on the ships and you do Rome as a port of call you've got to see the whole of Rome in about six hours yeah that's what I had to do which is great to see it as a taster but if you want to spend more time there when we did it on our cruise last year um, we want to go back to Rome and spend more time there I, I felt really rushed because I literally had a day and I, yeah, I, didn't, I did cram it all in but yeah. um, it never got to experience it properly so you've no. got two nights there yeah but then you embark the absolutely beautiful Celebrity Reflection. And uh, Keith, who's going to be at the cruise show this Sunday with Glenn He's Knight. not going, is he? Oh, he is. Oh, yeah, he gets no. in everywhere, doesn't he? He is. 
So he's going to be the tall, dark, handsome one. I'll be the short one with the ginger beard. And I'll be the one with the funny fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> We've been writing threesome together, won't we? But anyway, Keith will be there. And here he is to tell you more about the wonderful celebrity reflection. With exceptional levels of service, one crew member for every two guests, well-designed and easy to navigate ships, and a decor that is both sophisticated and contemporary, this is a cruise line which offers a real sense of modern luxury. Life on board a celebrity cruise ship is an opportunity for you to enjoy your cruise just how you like it. From relaxing by the pool with a good book to a whole host of exhilarating and unique experiences, the choice literally is yours. There's cooking competitions, mixology classes, dance and language classes, informative lectures and behind the scenes access to the inner workings of a modern day cruise ship. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. You can top up your tan while enjoying a margarita by the pool or use your sea pass card and help yourself to another glass of vino in the award winning Cellar Masters. But my absolute favourite has to be here, it's the world's first ever world-class bar. We're tasting the work of these wonderful mixologists will introduce you to the latest trends in cocktail creation. It will literally knock your socks off. Celebrity cruises have always pushed the boat out when it comes to dining. Not just in the sheer choice, but also the quality and taste of the food they offer. You can experience savour menus pairing classic and contemporary selections with casual alfresco dining to this stunning main dining room with the amazing wine tower that holds nearly 3,000 bottles of wine. When the sun sets, celebrity cruises ships come alive with a dazzling selection of bars, lounges and nightclubs. Keep an eye out though for the interactive theme parties. You might even find dancers in these exquisite costumes suddenly appear out of nowhere to entertain you. There's West End style theatre shows, there's circus shows, comedy, magic, music. On a celebrity cruise, luxury comes as standard. There are six different varieties to choose from, and over 85% have a private balcony. From comfortable inside staterooms to these gorgeous suites which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies, and your very own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. That was our lovely Keith then. What a beautiful ship. So we're uh, going to be uh, embarking the reflection in Rome. We've got a first day at sea, Glenn, and we're making our way over to Barcelona, yeah, aren't we? Barcelona, still one of the big destinations for Europe. Again, people always forget about Barcelona and the beaches. They've got some nice beaches, but the main highlights, I would say, is things like the Camp Nou, you've got the Sagrada Familia, uh, Park Guil, plenty of places to go and see in Barcelona. And as I said, you've got a whole day there to go and explore. Best way to go, go up, that's Ramblas. Top there, go and explore, hop on, hop off buses is a good way to do that. Then over to Cartagena, down into uh, Spain there. And again, that's where I used to live, just over in that area. And when you go into Cartagena, there's got great bars just in the port area, but if you go a little bit further out, great chance to walk around the back streets of Cartagena all over to the Roman Amphitheatre. Very, very interesting there, and that is beautiful. Malaga is stunning, our next destination. We're down into the Costa del Sol. Um, I'm famous for many, many different destinations to go to, but one I would recommend if you can do a tour up to Mijas. Mijas is beautiful up in the, in the hills there. Stunning old Spanish village, and it's very, very beautiful. Then a day at sea, and then we're back into the Canary Islands, where we started our uh, show today, into Tenerife, a popular destination with the Brits, docking into uh, Porta de la Cruz. But again, you can go to the uh, Timofar Mountains, you can go down along the uh, Porta de la Cruz. Plenty of places to go I and mean, see there in I, Tenerife. I only ever used to go to the really tourist bits in Tenerife, but there's some absolutely stunning parts. The south's where all the Brits tend to go to. That's, you know, your Playa de las Americas and Los Cristianas, but the north is much yeah. better. My, my um, in-laws go out there quite a lot now, and they just love it. And even if you go inland into Mount Tady and places like that, it's, it's a really, really beautiful uh, island to go and see. And then that's it for about, was it seven now, days? Now, I was going to say, we've got seven days at sea, and I can honestly say, for me, seven days on the reflection would be heaven. So just to give you an idea of, of what those seven days it seemed like. Honestly, because I, I sometimes have to force myself to get off ships because the ships are so beautiful. Yeah, you know, exactly. So beautifully done. There's so much to do. But you'll have seven days at sea. I mean, the weather should be fantastic from Tenerife to Fort Lauderdale. Actually, it should be. And like, like we were saying, the other transatlantic we were talking about, the further you go, uh, it's going to get warmer and warmer. You've got the Lawn Club, which is beautiful. And you've to got lay um, on there. the Sunset Bar at the back, where you've got the most wonderful um, seating and mood lighting. Ah, oh, it'd be gorgeous. And it is stunning. And, 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 they, and lots of outdoor restaurants with the, the reflection yeah, as well. Yeah, there's loads. And I think, as I said, you know, if you like a little bit of sunbathing, you like chilling out, relaxing, mm. this is a nice seven I days. Maybe you've been busy at work and you just 
just want to relax. This is seven days a week just to relax on board this beautiful, beautiful ship. And then from there, we arrive into Fort Lauderdale and you can either get off and fly home. But the other thing we would recommend for an extra £219 per person, you can add an extra two nights into Fort Lauderdale. And I think it's a shame if you've travelled all the way over there just to fly straight home. So what I would say is add a couple of nights on there. We've talked about Fort Lauderdale today already and just extend your holiday a couple of days. And we should say, Adam Glenn, you know, because you work in there, you know, taking orders for, for cruises every single day. The transatlantic cruises are a bit like gold dust, aren't they? Because they are, because I, I'll be we've just talked about it. Celebrity this year and next year are expensive because they're selling so well. They don't need to reduce the prices. So this is a really, really good price for this long of itinerary. You've got Rome, you've got the cruise, you've got ports, and then you've got over to Fort Lauderdale. It's a good one. It's this a one. really good one. Really but good one. But they do sell out quite quickly. Yeah. Um, but let's show you what's included on this one as well, because you've all got that extra two night stay in a four star hotel in Rome. Oh, we have got upgrades, exclusive upgrades from Ocean View to Balcony on this one as well. So actually, God, the balcony price is really good, actually really good on this. And then a two night post cruise stay in a four star beach hotel in Fort Lauderdale as well there. And it does work out. Oh my word, apparently it's under £76 per person per night. Told you it was good value, didn't I? That is really good, isn't it? Really good. Yeah, um, so all you big celebrity fans out there, give us a call sooner rather than later. That is a really low price for celebrity. Really low. Very, very well, good. Well, low for any cruise, isn't it? It's very good, but yeah. that, for that length. But that's five-star modern luxury. Anyway, we've got one final cruise to come, but before we... Uh, Go to it, because it's a biggie. We're actually going to go to uh, the call centre and speak to Karen from Princess Cruises. Karen, are you there? Hello, good evening. How good, are you? Good evening. Evening, Karen. We're very well, Karen. We're very well. Where's that voice coming from? <laughs> for that. Oh. So, Karen, um, I gather you've got some news about Princess for yes, us. I have. It's been a very busy day here at Princess Cruises as we've been getting ready to share some really exciting news. Go on then, tell us. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay then. So, for the very first time, we have an amazing offer where you can secure your 2018 or 19 cruise holiday for just a £1 per person deposit. So, hang on, was that a pound deposit? For pound next deposit year? per person. Just yeah. £1. So, you will need to be really quick with this deal though, because starting at midnight tonight, you have only got 24 hours to take advantage of this unique offer. So, you need, need to be really quick on this one. I don't think I've ever heard that before on the show. Well, you could treat your friend, couldn't you, and say, I paid for a cruise for you for a pound. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I paid for You'd be like the best, best friend ever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> lucky forever. That is beautiful. We've actually got a Princess Cruise coming up next, haven't we? We have, yeah. We so have, indeed. So, obviously, what we're saying is it will be a pound deposit for any cruise only or anything to the cruise. Yeah. Obviously, if you've got packages that involve flights and packages like we're talking about, there may be, obviously, supplementary deposits. But from midnight tonight or one minute past until for 24 hours, we're going to be in the office tomorrow morning if you want to reserve your cruise for next year from 2018 and 19 it's a pound a person brilliant um absolutely and, right and any particular cruises you can recommend karen yeah so we've got a seven night cruise on the beautiful sapphire princess in may next year starting from just 779 per person or if you're a family of four from 2339 with only a four pound deposit needed of course <laughs> so if, you, if you're one of those people that's been thinking about booking your princess cruise for a while there really has never never been a better time to book really so just go for it well karen i cruised with princess uh, last year and they were fantastic very very, very, yeah, very excellent, good excellent. very very good. good i'm glad you had a good time oh, with it. it was amazing karen it really was karen thank you so much I'm You're looking welcome. to see if I've got a pound. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to yourself. Thanks, Thank guys. You. <laughs> I hope they don't do an half-price deposit for 50p. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, um, we have got a final cruise with Princess. Now, this cruise, because it, it does involve a lot more, because it involves hotel stays and river cruise, it would be more than the pound deposit for this. Exactly, one, that's right. But we've managed to get the actual deposit for this one down to a ridiculous £250 per person deposit. So that's less than 10% of the full price, isn't it? Much, much less yeah, than 10% yeah. of this one. But this is probably one of the... I mean, we, we do a lot of our China packages and Far East packages and we say how good they are. But... If you want to go to this part of the world and you want to tie it all in in one go, this is the ultimate one to do. Honestly, Glenn and I, we, we've looked through this in detail and it is absolutely outstanding. It's, it's one of the best we've ever had. And you are away for nearly a whole month, 29 nights. When you break down the price, it's really good. It is a really, really and good And you've deal. got a cruise, you've got a river cruise, you've got Lantos, you have got the lot. And it's all been arranged for you. So let's, uh, let's begin. 
And we're flying to Singapore and we've got two nights here, haven't we? We have got two nights. So this is a package that we're putting together. So, you know, two nights in Singapore, you could do a week in Singapore, you could do as long as you want. But, you know, you've got the Marina Bay Sands, you've got Sentosa Island, you've got Raffles, you've got Clark Key. You've got so much stuff to, hear, to do here. If you only want to do it one day, you can, and we can move the flight forward a little bit, but I would say do at least two days, and you want to do the Gardens by the Bay. It's like something out of Avatar now, and it's beautiful to go around. So you've got a two-day start from there, and then from there, we're going to transfer you to, of course, the ship itself. And let's have a little look at the Majestic Princess. Um, so from my own experience with Princess Cruises, Excellent, absolutely excellent. Beautiful, beautiful ship. And again, they, they try to design the ships from Princess very, very similar, but they are absolutely beautiful. And again, the way this is laid out, the food, the level of service on there, the Hollywood Pool Club, look at the stack, that's actually got the reclining roof on there, so if the weather's not great, you're covered. Beautiful restaurants to go and see. You've got fantastic shops to just muse around and go and spend some of your money when you've got a couple of days at sea. And again, one thing they're very, very famous for is the variety of restaurants they have on board. Uh, something to suit all tastes and again, very, very popular with Princess. Yeah, the food was really good actually. It's really good. They are some of the best choice. to see. There is a lot of choice. And that's what you want as well. When you're doing a cruise like this, you want to go to different restaurants and die different places. But it's even like the buffets, they, they separate them all into different areas. So depending on what you fancy that night, you can go there. But everything's cooked fresh on board, everything's made fresh on board. And again, I would definitely recommend moving on. And that's just a few of the pictures of the, the theatre and the actual ship itself. So, you know, they are stunning. But uh, again, that's just your vessel then to take you to some of these great destinations that you have as well. Well, first two days at sea, but we're making our way over to Lam Shabang, of course, your port for Bangkok. Now, Bangkok, where you're docking Lam Shabang, it's quite a trek to get into Bangkok, so I would probably recommend doing a tour here or a private tour, whatever you want to do. But again, when you go down there, you've got the, uh, the pagodas, the temples, and again, you've got the river travelling through. You'll see all the junks going up and down, all the boats going up, and I've been to Bangkok a couple of times. Great for daytimes and night times as well. Um, but again, some beautiful, beautiful places to go and see and experience Bangkok and find out what all the uh, talk is, is about that. Then we go into a destination that is on many people's bucket list. This is Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam. So you've already done Bangkok, you're now going into Vietnam. Now, of course, Vietnam with its checkered past, you can just spend time around in Ho Chi Minh itself. I would recommend going out to places like the Kochi Tunnels and also to the War Remembrance Museum. It's very harrowing. It's a very somber place to go and see, but something that I think you do need to go and see. And the Kochi Tunnels is something that, if you've never seen it before, is, is an experience. Once you've done those, you've got a couple of days at sea. Anywhere you go around this part of the world, you're going to have to travel to get to. So we've got two days at sea there, and then we go into one of the great cities of this part of the world, which is Hong Kong modern island, obviously former British territory, and again you've got the junk boats going up and down here as well, you've got the Oriental Gold Pavilion, great skyscrapers, the skyline there is amazing to go and see, and if you haven't been to Hong Kong, it is one of the great destinations. Another two days at sea, you're getting used to this now, then we go into Busan in South Korea, so another destination many of you haven't been to before, and again the skyline there is futuristic, but you also go old school as well, so it's where old meets new, the beautiful pagodas and the temples that they have, and there's a chance to see Busan. Into Nagasaki, I went to Nagasaki, and again another harrowing place to see obviously the 6th of august 45 was when the bomb was dropped and again i would recommend a trip to go to the actual uh, bomb museum the atomic bomb museum again harrowing but it, it's what put this on the map unfortunately but it is a place to go and see and very very interesting another day at sea and then from there we get back into shanghai now shanghai is the futuristic destination and this is where you're going to disembark the vessel I've been up to some of those tall buildings, amazing views over the skyline, but you've got a two-night stay in Shanghai. And with this one, you can go to the Yew Gardens, the Old Town, and the Bund included on this one for you as well. So this one is a little bit special to do this. And this is when it's going to carry on the trip from there. So once we've done Shanghai, we're then going to go to Yik... Yik Hang. Now, I do apologise about my pronunciations. It's better than mine, Glenn. Thank you very much. I noticed you've gone very quiet in yeah. this part. Thanks very Over much. Over to you, Glenn. Thanks very much, pal. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one is where you're going to pick up your Yangtze River Cruise. So, this has got everything included on this one. Now, again, we featured a River Cruise, but this is going to be slightly different from the Danube. This is taking you along the Yangtze. Look at the views you've got down there. And again, the boats will stop and start, and they're going to take you all the way through to the Three Gorges Dam. And, of course, your um, people with you will be giving you commentary and information about this fascinating part of the world and you're going to spend uh, I think three days or four days on the river cruise. Including this you've also got a choice of shore excursions on this one. Which is it's three days four nights. Three days four nights. Then we go on 
then into Chengdu, and Chengdu is the capital of the Shishuang province. This is when you're going to have a one night stay, and in the evening, they've also got a Shishuang meal with a face changing opera to enjoy. So, that's something you might not have seen. Now then we go the from days. there into oh. Chengdu. This is where you're going to go to the Panda Convers Conservation Centre, not a conversation. If you have a conversation with a panda, you've had too much sake. So, <laughs> from there, you can go and see the pandas, and again, that's the best place to go and see them over in that part of the world. Then we go from the airport and we go down into Xi'an and this is where you're going to see the little fellas that were discovered um, a few years ago and we're going to go and see the terracotta warriors on this one. Now this and again this is, is a, a bucket oh. list to go and see. Um, phenomenal, the Queen visited there I think back in 84 but again it's, it's something that if you've never been there before it is phenomenal. With the terracotta warriors you're then going to go from there to Beijing now, Beijing, again, one of the great cities of the world. You've got the Wild Goose Pagoda and plenty of chance to walk around the Muslim Quarter and the main city. But, of course, some of the main highlights here are the Forbidden City, Tiananmen Square, and also the Temple of Heaven are three of the destinations that you need to see. And then, of course, we wanted to keep the best to last. We've not got any trip without the Great Wall. So you're actually going to go to the Great I mean Wall and you're going to see that as well. So you're taking in it South Korea, you're taking in... Um, Vietnam, you've got Singapore, Hong Kong, you've got China. Now people always ask about visas, speak to the guys in the office, they'll advise about Chinese visas. They're easy to do but we need to, we need to inform you about that. But this is a fully exclusive tour that we've and put together and takes in all that part of the world. And I was going to say, anyone that knows Planet Cruise, you, you are you know, fantastic at giving us great deals on cruises but you actually what, what your real strength is also is putting together these land deals with river cruises yeah. and making packages that are bespoke and organising every single aspect of our, it. Our commercial team are fantastic and again, you know, people always say we'd love to do this part of the world but we'd have to fly there to do that bit and we'd have to fly there to do that. This takes and everything. Yeah. And including that, it breaks it up so you've got land, you've got a river cruise, you've got a cruise. Oh, that was amazing. And when you look at the price, bear in mind you are away 29 nights no, a month. It's brilliant value, isn't it? And people always just say to us, just about oh, it's very easy to spend. Glenn tells us to spend 3,200 quid watching the TV at night time. But if it's something, we'll probably get three or four phone calls on this tonight, but it'll be people that have been thinking about it for a while and go, yeah. that's the one we want to do and let's yeah. book it. But what happen often happens is more and more will call during the week as well. They you know? will do, yeah. But, um, Glenn and the team are there to give you advice as well. Works out less than £111 per person per night when you're looking at everything that's included there. I think it's amazing. Really good deal. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so here's a quick recap of what's included. It's a lot included on this one. <laughs> yeah. We've had to sort of like narrow this down a bit. But you've got the once in a lifetime 12 night China tour with all of your meals, including the five star Yahtzee River Cruise. Yangtze. Yangtze's a game. Sorry, I'm good at that game. I used to be really good at yeah, that. Yahtzee, yeah. <laughs> a bit different from a Yangtze. <laughs> it is. It's a good game, though. Um, you get to visit the Great Wall, the Terracotta Army, the Panda Conservation, and so much more. And you get the two night hotel stay in Singapore and return flights in included as well and a deposit of 250 pounds tonight. 250 pounds tonight yeah, yeah the guys are in the office ready to take that deposit from you so uh, any questions give us a call for that one as well that, that's amazing but what i'd love to do um it's been lovely to be back on the show it really has nice to see you again guys. I'll see you, it's been far yeah. too long are you back in a couple of weeks by the way yeah i'm on holiday and then i'm back i think the 13th i'm doing two on the trot i think great so, brilliant middle of but july we'll see you on sunday at the cruise show anyway yeah, show. But let's recap Everything we've seen live this Tuesday evening with, of course, Planet Cruise. We started off with a really uh, a, a great, great price cruise, one of the lowest we've ever seen. And this is a company you just started to work with, Glenn. That's isn't it? it, right? Yeah. And again, you know, especially for first-time cruisers or people, as I said, maybe have done a cruise already and went, we just want another week away. Get that one booked. And uh, it is all inclusive, and it's under five hundred pounds. You know, why wouldn't you want to do that? Very, very good. Yeah. On that one. Uh, then, Glenn, what do we have next? Then we move on to our second one of the evening, which is the Queen Victoria. This is one that Shane was telling us about, and this is our transatlantic. So it's fifteen nights from Southampton to Florida and Miami. You've got the Everglades tour included on that one as well. Inbound flight to London plus all overseas transfers, and again, it can uh, the itinerary can differ and duration dependent on the departure date. But that one there is one four eight three three nine, and starting from one. 379 per person. And that was brought to us by the lovely Shane. Well, it was very cheeky and rude to me, but we'll let him off on it. <laughs> I like it. Well, I like it too. And he's got us a great deal there, hasn't he? Then we moved on to our Saga cruise as well. Brilliant to have uh, Saga back with us on board the Saga Pearl 2. Uh, you've got here that eight-night uh, cruise 
with the state, of course, that we're getting, and I think what really makes this special, not just the beautiful ships, but the free door-to-door -door chauffeur service or parking uh, is included in the price. And it is an all-inclusive, so that's all your drinks with your meals, of course, free Wi-Fi and your gratuities as well, starting at just 929. And, of course, uh, we can organise uh, great Saga insurance as well on that one. Very, very good, yep. Then it was our river cruise, wasn't it? There we go. So this beautiful on the, on the Danube. So this is a really, really nice one. This is a lead date from the 28th of October. This one here is on Riviera on the Thomas Hardy. Now, every booking, free Kindle with every person that books tonight, every booking. We've got upgrade to drinks with your meal packages for just £99 per person. Why would you not do that? Return flights from London Gatwick plus all overseas transfers. And ships do differ again depending on the departure date. 999 per person for a river view. And this is a five-star ship and the ID number on that one is going to be 151291. And then one of the best value cruises you're going to get right now with Celebrity, it works out this one under £76 per person per night on this one. It's sent tonight, West New York Transatlantic cruise to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we've got some exclusive upgrades from Ocean View to Balkan. So the Balcony price on that one, don't forget, was 1449 Really so brilliant. Good. Um, and don't forget, if you'd like to uh, add on uh, an extra couple of nights uh, post-cruise stay in a four-star beach hotel in Fort Lauderdale, we can do that from just £219 per person as well there. And uh, so starting there, prices at 1279 but the balcony, well worth doing at 1449 and then Princess, the big now, A. Princess is the big A. Obviously, say we have condensed this a little bit. Oh, I'm back on screen. You are. But this one here has got everything included on this one. Sit this up is, straight. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 12 night China <laughs> tour with the, not the Artsy, but the Yangtze River Cruise. <laughs> All right. Visit to the Great Wall Terracotta Army, the Panda yeah. Conservation, and much more. Two nights hotel stay in Singapore plus return flights. Now, because we've got this special deal with Princess for tomorrow only, deposit is going to be 250 per person, which is really, really good. Um, we are, we are nearly out of time. Um, Glenn, for anyone that's new to the show, maybe never booked with Planet Cruise, why are Planet Cruise so popular? I think, I and think, so good because your your rating is brilliant in terms of customer yeah, service. Yeah, I think we it? just look after the clients. You know, we do normal cruises, which are just a standard cruise, but we're also listening to people whether they want to do a bespoke cruise, they want to change it, they want to add extra nights. And a lot of us have worked on the ships before, so again, we can give our opinion. And we might say, look, don't do that one, do that one instead. That's what we recommend, and also advise about the ports of call as well. And and I'm not being funny, but if you think you found a better deal elsewhere, we'll call Planet Cruise, and you'll see. We'll you try know, our best for you. Yeah, we, we, we try really our best. will. We always will. But give us a call tonight, and uh, or. Uh, if you want to call tomorrow, Glenn, you're going to be in the office, aren't you? Eight o'clock tomorrow morning for yes. Princess. Yeah, I'll be there. Um, but, especially for the, some of the single prices, I'd, I'd call sooner rather than later, wouldn't you? Exactly. Glenn, nice to see you. Pleasure, we'll see mate. you in a few weeks. Cheers. Lovely to be back on the show. I'll see you next Tuesday with the one and only Planet Cruise.